Wowza. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, I'm looking good today. Sure, like super hard. Uh, it's holding the camera. <laughs> Sundays because I like to give my hair kind of a breath, my face a breath through the week. Today's video is going to be on my acne treatments. Yeah, I've been wanting to do a video like this for a long time. I actually filmed one probably like over a year ago. I just never posted it because like I really wasn't like doing YouTube or anything. I kind of wanted to show you guys the products I use and just kind of how I got through it because I know acne is like literally the worst and um, it can really make or break your confidence. So yeah, I wore a bare face today because I wanted to show you guys that I am kind of like struggling with acne again. It's nowhere near as bad as my acne was, but I've also been using different products now for probably like two, three weeks. That's um, kind of starting to help. It's starting to get better. You guys kind of get to see the real towards me. I'm gonna be going over my personal treatment. I wanna just throw out there that one, I'm not a dermatologist. I wish, cause then I'd be rich. I am not a skincare professional. I'm not an esthetician. None of that. Everything that I know is just from my personal experience. So what I know and what I do might not work for you. If your acne is really bad to the point that mine is at, I would suggest going to a dermatologist or if you're just kind of wanting to see a possibility that you guys could do, then yeah watch it but don't come at me if it doesn't work because you know like i said this is my personal treatment and everyone has different acne so yeah let's just jump right in i'm gonna throw it back to freshman year of college three years ago in 2017 it was a rough time for me okay saying this literally makes me like anxiety and freaking like stress out because just thinking about it it just makes me sick my sister-in-law, bless her heart, um, used coconut oil to take off her makeup. Okay, like, can I try it? And she's like, yeah. So I tried it and it took my makeup off super well. And that was the downfall of my skin. If you guys are using coconut oil, stop. I don't care what you say. I don't care if it breaks you out. It is so bad for your skin. It clogs your pores so bad and it's so hard to get it out. It's just not good for your skin. It's so bad for your skin. So I've been using coconut oil and all of a sudden my face started breaking out so bad. Three inches thick off my forehead. Okay, disclaimer. Before I post these pictures that I'm about to show you guys, I need to say something. These pictures have been locked away in my privates of my Snapchat for years because I am embarrassed, okay? They're, they're bad. My acne was bad. Okay, they were locked away. Haven't, don't like showing people, but I'm I'm getting out there. I'm putting myself out there so that you guys can improve and hopefully to help some of you out there that have acne like this, better or worse. Okay, I'm insecure about it. It was a really rough time for me. They've been hidden, but I'm stepping out of my show. So please don't say anything mean. Don't talk bad. My tummy is literally grumbling because I'm so nervous. Maybe because I'm hungry too, but mainly because I'm nervous. Okay, I'm editing right now and I forgot to say this. So that was my skin when I first had the really bad breakout when I started treatment. And then these next pictures are six months later and then like a year and a half later and then like two months ago. Okay, it covered my entire face, part of my neck, part of my back. It was brutal and I was so insecure. More insecure than I think I've ever been in my life. Which is saying something, cause I'm pretty freaking insecure. 
okay? So I went to the dermatologist and the first thing he wanted me to try was getting on birth control. So I tried that. People always say, you know, freshman year of college, you gain like freshman 15, 15 pounds. I gained 40 pounds, like two months into my freshman year of college. My face broke out with horrible acne and then I gained 40 to 50 pounds. It was literally at the lowest point I think I'd ever been in my life. Then, just the icing on the cake, I decided to get bangs. Bless my heart and soul. My sister-in-law tried to talk me out of it and I was just content that bangs were gonna fix it. They were gonna fix my acne, they were gonna fix my weight, they were gonna fix my insecurities. It was gonna be great. I was driving home from St. George and I looked in the rear view mirror and I said, I'm getting bangs today. And that was also the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. <laughs> Here's another picture. Let's just embarrass myself as much as we can today, okay? Here's another great picture from my freshman year of college. Okay, second disclaimer, really quick. This next picture I'm about to show you is a picture that I have denied is me. Story really quick. Um, my freshman year, I got asked to do a photo shoot for Fight the New Drug. It's the Porn Killed Love Company. They gave me a free t-shirt and I just went with a bunch of friends and we did a photo shoot. I never posted any of them with my face in it until two years later when I lost all my weight, grew out my bangs, cleared my acne. But they decided to post it. Specifically one individual sent it to me and was like, is this you? It looked like you, but I couldn't decide because it also didn't look like you. And I was like, so I'm showing you that picture as well. So if you are in a spot right now where you're insecure, you feel like you've gained weight, whatever, know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Know that yes, it's okay to be insecure, but things get better, they can get better. Here's, here's the other one. Gained 40 to 50 pounds, broke out with bad acne, got bangs. I was insecure. I didn't know who I was anymore. Birth control didn't work, just made me gain weight. So I went back to the dermatologist. He suggested starting Accutane, but Accutane is really expensive and I don't have the best insurance for that. I told him that I wasn't ready for it. I wanted that to kind of be the last alternative. The first thing he prescribed me was, I'm probably not gonna pronounce this right, but it's Tretinoin cream. I'll put a picture, but it looks like right here. Um, so I got prescribed that. I got prescribed, I still have this bottle. It's um, clindamycin um, phosphate lotion. So I put the Tritonin cream on at night, just in like my problem areas, not very much because it dries your skin out super bad. And then I would put this on in the morning. So you put this on and then you put your makeup on. And then I was washing my face with Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. Looking back, I probably shouldn't have been using an exfoliant. Um, I should have just been using like a normal cleanser just because the tretinoin is really harsh on your skin and does dry you out. So I don't think the exfoliant was necessary, um, but it did work. It's a good cleanser. Um, it's really good for exfoliating. It makes your skin feel really fresh, especially in the morning. So I was using that, I'll put a picture of it here. And then I also was using Daily Facial Moisturizer. Um, it was by Equate and it's um, just one of their face lotions. It's fragrance free and I still use that today, it's this one. Every product that you can buy that isn't prescription, you can buy at Walmart or Target, pretty sure you can get it at Walgreens. Then any other prescription, um, obviously you have to go see a doctor for that, however, one of the providers in my office was telling me about a alternative for the tretinoin, tretinoin cream, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this. It's adipoline. I'll put a picture of it here. It's like Dermagel, and you can get that over the counter at Walmart. The strongest version of the tretinoin that you can get over the counter. So if you want to try that, I would highly suggest that it does work if your acne is worse then it's not going to work as well and I would suggest getting a prescription for that other cream. So yeah that was the products I used then. The bottle that he gave me like this still has stuff in it and this is three years old and then the tretinoin that I used probably lasted like a year and a half almost two years. So I never got it refilled and that's just because it is pretty expensive but it did last me two years so when you break it down it really isn't that expensive but it is an investment at the time so when i started breaking out again recently probably like last month i went to one of the providers in my office and asked if he had a suggestion on what i should try 
and he prescribed me tretinoin. So it's basically this and my other cream that I use combined into one from what the label says. But I put this on at night, same thing. It dries my skin out, dries out the acne. He prescribed me a cleanser that I still haven't picked up. I just forgot the prescription. A cleanser that I'm assuming is similar to this. And then I'm also taking Minocycline. It's a oral medication that I take twice a day. I also started on this in the beginning, like the first time I struggled with acne, but I only took one round. And he suggested I take three rounds of this. So now for my acne, I'm taking Minocycline and this cream. And then as soon as I go pick up that second cleanser, now using the same exfoliant, it's just the Equate version of it. It's like $3 cheaper. Not that the clean and clear is expensive, but this is just a little bit of a cheaper alternative. However, I think I'm gonna try a new cleanser that isn't an exfoliant because this cream is so harsh on my skin and does dry me out that I don't need an exfoliant. So I think I'm gonna go and get an actual different cleanser to try that's probably a clean and clear brand. Oh, and then I'm still using Equate Beauty Daily Facial Moisturizer. It's non-greasy, lightweight, fragrance-free. I love it. I've used this for three years now. I swear by it. Any other face lotion I use is too greasy. I think this is awesome. I love this. And then I've also been using this Mario Badescu, Badescu skincare facial spray. Honestly, don't understand all the hype about it because as much as I love it, I don't think it's necessarily helped my skin, but I don't think it's necessarily hurt my skin either. It's just a facial spray, it has lavender. It's supposed to have this specific one. He has three different ones. This specific one is supposed to hydrate. I spray it on at night after I put my face lotion on and it honestly just like relaxes me. It has lavender, so it relaxes and I mean, it's pretty hydrating to my skin. So I like that as well. So those are the products I used then and then the products I use now. Like I said, I'm gonna link all of them down below, um, the ones that you can buy at the store and then I'll try and link any of the ones that are prescriptions and you can maybe take them to a provider or a doctor that you see or a dermatologist and maybe see what they have to see about trying those for yourself. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, have a nice day. Hope you guys enjoy, let me know if you have any other questions or if I wasn't super clear on anything. A, B, C, D, always be Courtney Dean, peace out.